Okay, well we've got some fairly decent weather today, doesn't look like it's going to rain. So we've decided to pull the old Ford's and the 83W out to see if it'll start today. Uh, I think uh, it must have been about 2010, I think it was, when we last tried to start this pickup truck and uh, failed dismally. It just wouldn't start. It's always had a sort of problem. Um, if you have seen this truck before on my channel, you know that it's the one that was seized up and the one that we unseized. Only we didn't do the most thorough job of it. We basically just freed up the engine and lapped in a couple of valves and then put it all back together. And it did run, but it was uh, always a bugger to start and uh, always pretty smoky as well. So <laughs> I think the engine's pretty much had it. But we're going to see a bit of start today. We have got a spare engine as well, so eh, it's no big deal. But we will see if it will actually run. Obviously after four years of doing nothing, you've got to see if the old truck will turn over. Sure enough it does. Can't really feel much compression, it must be honest. And uh, I think the water pump is making some horrible sounds. And uh, the smell of old petrol is ripe. Oh dear, it absolutely stinks. We did try and siphon some out of the tank in the hope that we may just be able to fill up the tank with some fresh fuel to start it up, but it looks like we're gonna have to do what we usually do and run a dummy fuel line to it, to run it off of a bottle or off a small external tank, just to see if it'll go. But, yeah. Not looking too bad anyway. Our problem is usually with it flooding its carburetor out. Seems to always be the issue. But yeah, anyway, we're gonna have to put a battery in it, see if we've got any spark. We'll clean the points first before we do anything because they're bound to need cleaning. And then we'll go from there. We did have a problem at some point with it jumping a spark from the number two lead back to the distributor because the cap is right there and so it's had some insulation tape wrapped around that one to uh, try and stop it from doing that. That was something we noticed. Another thing that was a problem was the oil light was flickering when it was idling. So it's got some form of problem with its oil pump. So we're going to have to check the oil. And uh, if it does start, we'll have to see if that goes out. Obviously, if it doesn't, then we're not going to be able to run it. But yeah, anyway, let's see what happens. Okay, well we're at that time. We're going to see the old Ford and Fiat truck will start now. Done no work to the carburetor, but we have just had to swap a coil out to get a spark. Uh, sure enough, we've got a spark now, so we're going to go ahead in a second and just see if she'll start up. Just going to set the choke to full down. The choke cable is still working. Let's see if it's going to go. This is a genuine old start cold start for you. Stone cold. Watch it eat yours, but it has not been outside. Yeah, let's see what's going to happen. If anything. The start cable just snapped, so now we're gonna have to go under the bonnet and start it. Oh, great, all good fun, I suppose. Uh, yeah, it's always been like this, though. Okay, take two. Start motor is pretty stiff.
Yeah, let's give a little squirt of petrol into the carburetor and see if we get any good that way. Definitely filming. Move out, that's for sure. Oil pressure lights definitely out, so we've got oil. He definitely ain't happy though. Well, she is running on no choke, though. There we go. Got to run out of fuel. Yep, there we go. <laughs> oh my god. That's a definite runner, anyway. <laughs> Oh dear. 
In true fashion though, she's always smoked from various places. And today has been definitely no exception. Definitely got a manifold leak, or well, an exhaust manifold leak I would say, by all the smoke and stuff around the engine bay. Oh yeah, she's warm now. Cool heat. Alright, anyway, let's turn that ignition off. Still got you mounted on the tripod, so it's not the best of places to be. Anyway, I'm happy that the oil pressure light came on and went out, so yeah, it's not bad. I reckon if we got it running a bit smoother and put some water in it, some fresh fuel in the tank, and got the pump pumping again, I bet she'd be drivable. There's nothing really to go wrong on this, it's a cable operated clutch I believe, and cable brakes as well, so they're fine. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, it's a runner. 